Hey everyone, it's Brandon here again for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a very important topic for really probably anyone watching this right now. I'm, I'm sure if you've reached this video, if you had the feeling to click, whether it's you had already been on my channel and been working on yourself spiritually, developing, awakening, feeling the, the energy of reality come through you and bring you into a deeper level of realization of what's going on here. Whether you've already been here and doing that or even you're a friend of mine or family member of mine or if you're someone entirely new and the title or the thumbnail just caught you, I want you to know these are all sort of normal everyday things but they caught you at this exact moment in time where you're watching this for a reason. Because I'm going to explain something that is happening and you must realize that in this moment you're given the opportunity to make what I'm saying real if you want it to be real. You can also make it false if you want it to be false. That's the interesting thing here. I mean, we're talking ultimately about manifestation. And with manifestation, the most important thing is recognizing your own power and saying, this is where I'm heading. You know, it's like the captain of a ship. The captain of a ship isn't going to say, well, I'm not sure if I can get there or get there. He won't be a captain very long. He won't be a navigator very long. Because his whole job is to get to where he wants to go, to get to where other people want to go, to get where reality is going to reward him for taking that adventure, for growing in the ways and being prepared to take such a journey. I want you to know that, especially if you've been on a spiritual awakening journey for years, you can finally reap the benefits of that. You can finally let go of the control and the ego and being sucked into trying to improve yourself in so many ways or go through all these hard challenges. You can let go of this and simply see where God is going to take you. Some people might not like that word. You can also say the luminous emptiness, the Jiva, Atman, Brahman complex, the Holy Spirit, the eternal now. There's so the universe, the multiverse, just love itself, absolute love, infinity. There are so many words you can say, but honestly, none of them do it all the way. None of them explain it all. And uh, this is something that many cultures have pointed to. We're all aware of it. We know that God isn't the only word that ever tried to point to God. So uh, when I say that, I, I want you to just know it might go against certain parts of your cultural programming. Even for me, it goes against parts of mine because we can have very difficult experiences where someone tries to push a perspective on us at the wrong moment and maybe we're not ready for that. Or maybe we see the world in a different way at that time and a different word speaks to us. So I don't want us to be in this video, if you're watching this, I really want you to just uh, feel into my message rather and feel into the energy of what I'm trying to to show you where we can go right now in this world how we can improve and how we can get away from the sort of old shackles you might call them the old slow hard way of living we can get beyond that and the biggest part is realizing that you have the potential to do that not only you have the potential to do that you can do that right now right now this instant if you believe in yourself and you believe that the world is forming in your favor, that God, that the universe, that the, the world of regular cause and effect, however you want to view this, just the world can work in your favor. And the biggest way for the world to work in your favor is if you start working in your own favor. You can't work in your own favor if you don't believe in your own potential. And you can't believe in your own potential if you have self-limiting identities. Now, I know, I really know that this is a hard point for many of us. I'm going through this shift currently. People that I know are going through this shift currently. And we're seeing great, quick results. But we're not even yet to the true manifestation of it. 
we're just at the feeling the mental and spiritual and emotional feeling and recognition of the change in the shift the experiential change of the shift but we're not in the signs the outward signs of reality completely flipping yet but we can start to notice them and there are a lot of people talking about this if you go online on YouTube and or, or any social media I'm positive if you search there is a shift in consciousness happening right now there is a major awakening happening right now you can search that and you'll find endless content from high conscious people who are working in a positive manner to level up their own lives and they're finding prosperity at levels they've never found before and all of the people are who are so-called crazy enough or rather bold enough to actually believe what they teach and then live it for themselves they end up finding the same truth and it's not a new truth per se but we are seeing a new kind of shift in a more collective sense more people are gaining access to these levels more people are gaining access to this easy shift and what is this shift the shift is falling into where god or the universe wants you to be falling into the energy of where this whole karma cause and effect mechanism this grand vast infinite mechanism where this wants to take you just based on who you are the experiences you've had the uniqueness that's within you it wants to take you so far i don't know how far i can't fathom how far it wants to take me i can't fathom how far it wants to take you and i'm fairly certain you can't fathom the fullness of it yet either and that's the thing it can be a bit scary even a lot of these shifts can be scary actually because we often, when we let go of fear, we let go of ego control, and we start to fall into our natural path, into our natural rhythm and our natural abilities, and God, the Tao, all of this leading us to the future, what we can accomplish, it's scary. Because for so long we've lived in fear. For so long we've lived in ego. For so long we've lived in trying to control everything. We've tried to craft our own path rather than surrendered and lived our own path. And in trying to manipulate reality, we're like a little ego gremlin. And that ego gremlin thinks it's doing a lot of things to move us forward. It says, I'll get this new habit. I'll change my routine in this way. I'll go apply for this job, or I'll get this second job, or I'll work really hard on this, or I'll focus on my fitness. And it's not that any of these things in and of themselves are bad. The problem is that it all comes from a place and an energy of lack. It all comes from an energy of I don't have what I want. And it's not that, it's even more than that. It's I am not worthy of what I want. And therefore, I must work tirelessly day in and day out from from the sun coming up to the sun going down and even more hours beyond that. I must work tirelessly to get to my dreams. That is exactly what will keep you as the type of person with an identity who believes you're not worthy of your dreams. So I really invite you step step into this new shift. Some people call it shifting timelines. Some people call it shifting realities. You don't even have to make it that complex or use these fancy words. You're realizing your potential and you're realizing that there's just as much proof as how amazing you are as there is of how much lack you could have. And it's really, who do you want to be? Do you want to be the person who sees your full potential and realizes it and doesn't even have to work super hard for it? You realize it and because that's your identity, you become it. You see the outward world turn into what you know to be true as your identity. Let me, let me just ask you real quick. Do you really believe there's much in this world that has more potential to change your individual experience of life more than your identity? If you believe you're a certain way, you believe you're worthy of certain things, I am confident and you will see that that is what will happen. So it's time for us, for those of you still watching this, 
those of you out there, I know you. I know you because we're humans on this this planet. We're going through such a similar such a similar phase. And if you're on this video still, I know that you've been on a spiritual journey. And I know that it's been hard. I know there's been moments where it's just horrific. Whether it's related to the journey itself or not, life can be hard. And this is our opportunity to step out of what's hard and step into what we deserve. But first we have to realize that we deserve it. Real quick, as as I kind of close up here, don't, don't click off just because I switched gears though. <laughs> I'm shifting gears, okay? It's a good thing. I did pull a few uh, Oracle cards. They're from the deck, uh, the Starseed Oracle. I kept myself away from tarot and, and similar things for, for years recently. Uh, I had some experiences where I got in the wrong way of using it, the wrong energy, and uh, it produced, I think it produced growth, but it also produced a lot of chaos for me. And I'm really enjoying this particular deck, not only because, I mean, the cards are just completely beautiful. Um, the cards are beautiful. They really are. But um, I pulled these to kind of give a bit of a, a tone or a message for this video. For those of you who are watching who really are ready to shift, you're tired of being stuck in this work hard and get literal, little results. You're tired of that mode. You're ready to shift and to experience abundance. All, a lot of it, it's about creating your own abundance. But you have to change your mind to realize that it's always been an option to have an easy, awesome life. Uh, and look, there are many people out there. You can see they have easy, awesome lives. I mean, not, not tons of them, but they are out there. And you got to kind of scratch your head and think, why do they get to have that? If you look into their identities, it's part of the secret. It's part of what keeps them there. And no matter if their life changed, if their access to resources changed, they'd go right back without too much time because that's where their identity set point is. And that's what we're trying to fix here. So whether you believe in tarot cards in some metaphysical way, what we're really using here is we're using a bit of random chance and permutations uh, the, the different options and combinations you could get out of a tarot deck or regular deck of cards, it creates so much variety. And that variety creates an avenue for your mind to think a little bit differently than you would on your own without a tool that's going to give you a new combination of a, a new perspective. It's a new window. Every time you do a reading or even you roll dice or, or you bring chance into an event, especially tarot, or oral, oracle decks, similar things. That's what we're really doing here. I mean, it, it will work on other levels too, but even on a very practical level, just having this as a sort of guide, if it's from the right place, if it's from the right source that's trying to move you forward, just having these cards will get you to think in a way that's closer to what we're trying to talk about here. So uh, here's one of the cards, uh, Hiriath. I believe that is the right pronunciation. Uh, it says that it is a Welsh word. Now, uh, I don't know Welsh, so it could be slightly different. But it says the main message on the card is longing for home, homestick, homesick for the stars. And uh, if you read, the, me the message behind this card is actually that we come from a far deeper place, a far more grand place, so to speak, uh, in certain ways. But, but we came to Earth because there's something even better here that we're looking for. You know, it, it talks about your, your longing for your home among the stars, a place that you lived before, maybe for longer than Earth. But what the card is trying to tell us is there's a lot here that we can capitalize on and that we can enjoy. We came here for a reason, and this is where we'll find our true happiness. So when we're searching for for that feeling of, of home in a person or in a job or in a, a, a location or a vacation. The home is to be found on planet Earth living our purpose. 
and we need to just surrender to that and also realize that we're in the right place at the right time we don't need to go anywhere else necessarily that doesn't mean we can't travel doesn't mean we can't go on an awesome adventure uh, maybe that's the home you'll find but you're already where you need to be in a general kind of metaphysical sense the next card that that popped out i was i was only looking for one card but three popped out and if you know the rules you pretty much you ought to probably look at them all so the card is portal doors are opening you decide literally that's what i've been talking about here it's not just this deck that says that it's not just people you know spiritual people on the internet who say that like that's a law of reality you decide what happens in your life but a lot of it isn't your ego decides it's you can decide to let your ego go in certain ways or to even create your own identity that is greater than what the ego wants to limit you to and in that you can decide to go on another grander adventure of where reality wants to take you um but it says yes doors are opening you decide rewards and wild card so we really don't know where we will go if we embrace this energy of abundance of high self-worth of things working in our favor of not having to labor super hard to have a good life you don't know exactly where it's going to go because it's not the same life that most people live most people will live a life i go to this job i make this amount of dollars an hour that means i need to work for this many thousands of hours to make this much money to have a little bit to save to barely get a retirement to retire when i'm 72 and then die when i'm 74 and be sick the last 10 years because i overworked myself and i never lived along with my passion and i did everything against my values and my life was a partial hell because i made it one no that's not the life that we want to live here if you're listening to me please promise me one thing you will never you will never give in to that version of yourself you'll never let yourself fall that far because you you are worth so much more you i i know you i know no matter who you are but i i know you watching this video if you're into the types of topics and and what would lead you to be still watching at this point in the video i know you've got immense potential and it's only a matter of time and a matter of of moving in the right ways until you you see the change in your world in all of the measurable ways all of the concrete objective ways it is coming but promise me you'll never you'll never settle for being small because that's not what you came here to be and i i doubt that many people came here to be that way but in a sense there's nothing also wrong with being ordinary and and being big or, or getting to your dreams actually doesn't necessarily mean having a lot of physical possessions or even even the ability to travel these things can be nice these things can be abundant and they can open us up give us a freer energy to to kind of you could say flow even more with source to be even more in tune with the holy spirit and god it's hard when you're in a war zone in poverty with little education and you've been abused by your parents your whole life to feel abundant and to feel like you're God's child and that you have all the power to make the world a better place. It's, it's really hard to, to see your potential when you've been in such if someone's been in in very difficult circumstances so it's a process for all of us no matter what trauma is there or even if you had a very nice life and you were given a great starting point um we always have to work to see we, we work in a sense of it the work we're doing right now is kind of realizing the higher level of work where we aren't forcing everything okay but there's still uh, plenty of work to be done let's say but uh, this is really about identity shifting. This is about identity shifting, purpose shifting, and dignity. You're, you need to find your dignity. There is nothing wrong about dignity. 
there's nothing bad or you're you're not you're not trying to seem like you're better than other people if you have dignity no dignity is just i am a human being god or reality the the infinite universe or even multiverse or the the unfathomable simulation <laughs> whatever you want to say the luminous emptiness as i mentioned before brahman whatever dao things align for you to be here and you have so much potential and power in you just for the mere fact that you're here look at all of your perceptual abilities look at all that you've learned in your life look at all you've accomplished in your life even trying to do it the hard way even struggling against it and fighting and trying to find value in the struggle there is but there's also value in finally realizing that you didn't have to struggle that way. That you can now move forward in a more effective manner. That's what, that's what we're trying to get to here. And we're not even trying. That's what we are getting to here. That's what this video is for. This video is for you to do that, for me to do that. And we're working together. The more that, that you and I and the other people on this timeline, you could say, on this shifted mentality shifted identity the more that we believe and move forward and feel fully that we are correct in our power in assuming our power and realizing our power and getting what we want out of life in the most healthy beneficial way to everyone around us the more that we embody this positive energy this positive dignity this basic dignity of the infinite uh spiritual beings that we are when we embody that dignity fully it helps all of the rest of us this is a collective shift in the world and there are countless countless spiritual texts and uh, other resources and people throughout time who have realized that this is coming that this is happening and i'm just here to say it's happening at a faster rate it's happening even grand on a grander scale than before and luckily i really have faith that you are someone who is on this and i just encourage you go deeper into this trust go deeper into trusting god and you will come into this shift and you will you will be very glad you did and it will it might have a little bit of clearing old patterns which can be a bit painful but it's going to be so much growth and the last the last card that it gave is this one and that is the great severing it says mars energy anger conflict and softening to love so the the main thing with this card is we life can seem like a battle and it can feel like we were hurt and often the wounds that we have we reflect and, and we create chaos on the rest of people around us in the world we bring our hurt to other people there is the very uh common and and common sense and very insightful saying that hurt people hurt people and that's part of what this card is about that we need to pay attention to our wounds if we don't heal our wounds if we walk around feeling like we shouldn't have any dignity that we should be afraid in this world that we're not meant to be here or, or we're not meant to have a good life here or that there's some limitation or something wrong with us or some great challenge we're going to have to face and that things can't just be good. <laughs> um, we need to heal that. We need to heal that. And how do we heal that? Really, it's about feeling into it. It says softening to the love. That's softening your heart. And it can be... It, it takes some strength and courage to do that. To feel some pain, some trauma even, that, that is stored within your body, within your heart. But as you feel that, it can begin to release. And that's what I really want, want you to focus on is as you move forward, if you're really going to be on this with us, with me and the others on this shift, moving into better lives and you'll see as my life goes on you'll see the signs that my life improved and i used to work super super hard i've been working hard this whole year i finally realized wait a minute like 
I've been working so hard, but it's all been coming from the wrong identity, and I've been creating resistance to what I want to get, not, not really progress for much of it. So I had an alarm uh, cut me off right there, but I just want to say uh, closing thoughts. I really believe in your potential to level up, to go into a different type of life. And you also have to, it's cliche, but you have to believe in yourself. And that's really the biggest part of the work here is believing in yourself even when it might feel at first that you shouldn't. But I'm telling you that there's probably a lot more evidence if you were able to see your situation objectively and not in a biased way where you're used to, to limiting yourself. There's plenty of evidence. If only you could see it healthily, that you are meant for great things, you're capable of great things, and not even that, you are on the trajectory of an amazing life. But you have to recognize that that's where you're at and stop fighting against you. Because there's one thing that people say that God typically allows, that reality allows, is, is free will. If we really want to feel like we're limited, have limited power, shouldn't have dignity, shouldn't have a good life. It's really hard for the world to bring us to anything other than that. We are fighting against ourselves because our identity is fragmented and damaged. So pay attention to these things. Again, uh, the last message of this card, softening to the love, feel into your body, feel into those difficult emotions because feeling into them is what helps us to process them and what helps us to get past them. And then we can stop inflicting those same old wounds onto ourselves and trying to avoid them and making them even worse in turn. And we can also stop inflicting pain onto those around us because we can heal. We can finally heal. And then we can be nice. Wouldn't that be great? So I know you guys are on the way there and it's only a matter of time but the faster you believe in yourself, the faster you'll get there. With, with love, Brandon here again for another video.